encourage all of us to make this happen? Uh, my name is Girma. Uh, I'm a retired uh, aviation person. Retired, but I believe you're one of the most significant figures uh, in African aviation. <laughs> but uh, you're very uh, modest in saying so. I understand now you're uh, very ho heavily involved with uh, the development of Rwanda here in Rwanda. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how that airline's developing and uh, what your aspirations are for it? Uh, I came to Rwanda in 2012. I was working for the Ministry of uh, Infrastructure and uh, I started serving as a chairman of uh, Rwanda Air. Uh, I've seen a lot of progress in the airline. When I came here, they had old airplanes. Uh, today, they have uh, modern airplanes. They had limited uh, route network. They have expanded uh, uh, very much in the last uh, five years. Dubai was the only station that was, they were flying outside of Africa. Today, they have also included uh, London, Bombay, uh, Brussels into, into their international network. And they are uh, preparing themselves to go to China. So I, th I believe uh, they have made a lot of progress. And uh, I think, I think uh, they are trying to do it in a very sustainable way without rushing too much in their operation, but, but making sure that where they go, they stay. Mm -hmm. You're obviously very famous for your work with Ethiopia, Ethiopian before, uh, before your time here. What do you see um, the chances of Rwanda joining perhaps a standard bearer here on the continent? Is that a very long-term aspiration? Today, uh, it's an airline that has 12 aircraft, uh, more than uh, 20 destinations. But if you compare it with some carriers that have 90 plus destinations and uh, close to 100 airplanes, is still an infant. But I believe it's a quality airline that can probably in the next five to 10 years really be one of the good airlines in Africa. And I think they will achieve that. The only thing they would have to do is focus, focus, focus. And, and create less dependence on government. Okay, so that, that will help them go where they want to go. That's a very interesting perspective. The government here is quite heavily involved in the development of a new airport as well. Will, will that, on the flip side, help the airlines develop? Yes, it does. The government is uh, working very strategically. They know aviation is one of the pillars of development for Africa's economy and they are committed to make it happen. They are building uh, a new airport. They made a lot of improvement on this airport. Uh, it's very different from what was there four or five years ago. And they have also invested in the airline. And I think they are in it for uh, the long haul and they will, they will do a good job. Okay. You'll do a good job. And uh, you've just arrived in our home market, Breaking Travel News is based in London. You've just launched a flight into, into Gatwick Airport there. Uh, London is the first international uh, operation of Rwanda Air into Europe. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of uh, tourists coming from UK here. And it started slowly. Unfortunately, they were given Gatwick. Gatwick is not a major airport. Heathrow was much better, but Heathrow is crowded, so they couldn't get slot in Heathrow. They started in Gatwick, hoping that someday they will go to Heathrow. They also are given a slot at a very late hour, arrival in, in UK. Therefore, they cannot, they cannot get passengers from East and Central Africa into UK, especially if they are going to, to, to go to the continent, because they arrive uh, there late and there are no connecting flights after that. But gradually we are hoping that the uh, 
UK would improve that uh, slot and offer probably a better timing and if possible Heathrow. If that happens, I think it will do. Today they make the connection through Brussels. But it is picking up, the traffic is picking up. It's not yet profitable, but I'm sure gradually it will be profitable. And perhaps coming back here to Africa, um, you've been a keen advocate of open skies and the development of that. There was a key decision taken in 2015, there's been a lot of momentum behind it. How do you see that developing over the next couple of years? I think the wheel is rolling already. There is no way st stopping it. It may take time, but it will happen. And I think even without that, African carriers are now opening to one another. So uh, for me, even though officially this is going to start in 2018, the progress that I see now in Africa, even without uh, that, the implementation, implementation of YD, I think the progress is good and it's working. Okay, well thank you very much for your time. Some very interesting points today. Thank you. Thank you.